Word gets around fast. Charles, what's going on? So what's going on? You tell me. It's a beautiful day in Fredericton. What's going on? Hurry up. Jim Parrott's gonna. Jim Parrott has been kicked out of the party. How do you know that? I just told you. Really? Yeah. So I, what I you gotta say? I wasn't aware of that, Charles. So what you gotta say as the workers advocate, as the health, health advocate, advocate, workers advocate. Well, is this a fact? How, how do we know? I'm a blogger, right? Okay, so what you got to say? Well, you know, it, it's quite obvious David Alward has a problem with, with his leadership. Uh, he's got caucus members uh, that obviously you're telling me now. If it's true, I guess we'll have to get the official word from... Uh, I'm the telling premier. you, it's true. I just told you. Did the Premier give you a call? I just you? told you. I just told you. It's true. So, okay. uh, is it is that the Abel LeBlanc style? Uh, like, Abel used to be critical of the Liberal Party. And now you have Parrot that's critical for healthcare, and he's kicked out the party. What do you got to say about that? Well, I, I I think you have a premier. Where is he today? I mean, I, I think he's not even in the country. Oh yeah, he's here. Is he in the country? Oh yes. He's back. Okay, because oh, yes. I haven't seen the premier. He's been missing. He's right in there. The premier's been missing now for months, mm -hmm. and uh, there's many important files that are ongoing. There's many caucus members. You think that's good for uh, a member of the party of uh, the party be kicked out? Well, I mean, that's a decision that Premier Allward's obviously made. Uh, it goes to show that he has no control over his caucus. It goes to show that there's a lot of distent within his caucus. I know there's other members of the Tory caucus that I've spoken to personally. I'm not going to give any names, well. but uh, that are very upset because, uh, because of the lack of leadership of their Premier. Uh, there's so many important issues and there's so many things that he's lied about to the people of New Brunswick and he's lied about to his own caucus members. Uh, I'm not surprised that he's he's kicked one of them out of caucus because they're not towing his line. The Liberals because, will never do that, would they? Well, I, I mean... Uh, it's, it's, I'm laughing here. <laughs> you know, uh, just because uh, the caucus members don't want to, uh, to follow David Allward and... and uh, and stay away from the commitments that David Alward's made, and, and there's many examples, you know, he, he promised free votes in the legislature, that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. uh, he promised... Uh, so it's not a good day for democracy, is that what you're saying? No, absolutely not. Absolutely no. not. And, uh, you know, the Premier, uh, if, if in fact this is true, and I guess we're going to I just told you, I'm a blogger. You're sure. a blogger. Uh, you know, it's a sad day for sad democracy, day? and it's, uh, it's a sad day for for all New Brunswickers to, to have a Premier that's uh, holding a heavy hand like this for a member of his caucus who's spoken out for, for better health care and for, for better uh, yeah. better services. And you as a health body. advocate, yeah, you should be concerned about that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.